In the Any% speedrun of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, runners make use of one particular blade to plow through the entire game. The blade in question is of course Crosset, but what makes Crosset so great for the speedrun? As opposed to most other blades which have to be obtained via the gacha system, Crosset is accessible very early on in the game as a guaranteed DLC blade. DLC stands for downloadable content. In this game, the DLC grants runners access to a plethora of resources such as money, pouch items, and of course, DLC exclusive blades. After gaining access to Poppy in Chapter 2, runners make a quick pit stop in Argentum where they will pick up the Ebullion Core Crystal. They will then pull Crosset on Nia after rescuing her on the Titan battleship. From then on, runners will control Nia exclusively, except for a brief section from the end of Chapter 7 to the start of Chapter 8 where players are forced to use Rex, as well as the two fights at the end of Chapter 9. Despite not having as much representation in post-game content, Nia is surprisingly the best driver for Crosset in the speedrun. While controlling a pitball blade such as Crosset, Nia gains access to three very useful arts. Acrobatic Bomber, a high damaging skill with a chance to break, potentially setting up huge fusion combos. Healing Circle, which keeps the party healthy. And most importantly, Dolphin Spin, which allows Nia to generate potions. The core of Crosset's kit, and the main reason why she is so powerful, is her ability Gathering Sparks. This is a skill that increases Crosset's damage every time her driver collects a potion, up to a maximum of 500%. This makes Crosset the premier choice for combat, as no other blade is able to ramp out their damage so quickly and so easily, let alone so early on in the run. Oftentimes, this insane multiplier allows Crosset to finish fights even without a break, as long as she has enough potions. This is great for consistency, as starting from chapter 4, enemies start to have tons of break resistance, making it impractical to aim for fusion combos on every fight. Being a fire blade, Crosset also has access to two very strong blade combos which are used frequently throughout the speedrun. Mega Explosion is the go-to option for high single target damage, while Steam Explosion's AoE makes it the preferred choice for fights with multiple enemies such as Padmic and Trio. Throughout the speedrun, there will usually be at least one other fire blade or water blade on another party member, making it very easy to set up these powerful combos. For example, for most of the run, Rex has access to Pyra who is a fire blade. In Chapter 4, where Pyra is not available, as well as fights where Steam Explosion is better, runners use a common blade instead. Nia's other teammates, Morag and Tora, both have access to the fire blades Bridget and Poppy QT respectively. Crosset is even able to set up blade combos for other teammates. For Phase 2 of Makos at the end of Chapter 3, as well as Malos 2 in Chapter 7, Crosset helps to set up a powerful nuclear blast for Mithra and Corvin respectively. Other reasons why Crosset is amazing for the speedrun include her 20% physical and ether defenses, which make Nia considerably tankier, her Tier 1's AoE being great for fights with many weak enemies, such as the many Turkin fights throughout the run, her skill Alchemy Adept, which further amplifies the damage of fusion combos, Fortitude, which is a required field skill for accessing the powerful Shining Star Chips, and finally Agronomy, which increases the likelihood of getting enough vegetables to craft two Hunter's Chemistry 2 Ox Cores. I hope you learned something about the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 speedrun. If you enjoy Xenoblade speedruns, or just Xenoblade content in general, consider following me on Twitch, where I frequently stream high-level speedruns of various RPGs including Xenoblade Chronicles. Link will be in the description below. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.